गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर संजय खेत्रे हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री देवड़ी कॉलेज देवड़ी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अनदर टॉपिक ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री अमाइंस एंड डायजोनियम सॉल्ट दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एज पर एज योर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इज कंसर्न वाई वी हैव टू स्टडी दिस टॉपिक because this topic having a more importance in the field of industry especially in the field of biologically and pharmacology things are concerned many amines and diazonium salts are being used in this process you know that what are amines before that you should know that what is ammonia everybody know what is ammonia Ammonia, it is written like this. In H three, when we expand this structure, we will get nitrogen, hydrogen, 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 and here we have the lone pair. Now see here, this is the structure of ammonia. This is the structure of ammonia. When we talk about the amines, we have to use the ammonia for studying this. amines how it is possible whatever we are having the hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen here just you go on replacing hydrogen by alkyl group you know that what are alkyl groups r is alkyl group maybe ethyl methyl butyl pentyl hexyl and so on if you replace one hydrogen by one alkyl group if you replace One hydrogen by one alkyl group, you will get another structure which is written like this. We have here hydrogen, and here is the alkyl group. Lone pair is present over here. Now see here, lone pair remain as it is, but what I make change over here is the alkyl group. One hydrogen of this, one hydrogen of this nitrogen is replaced by R group. now whatever things are obtained whatever structure is obtained that structure is called as amine and it is called as primary amine it is called as primary amine so this is the example of primary amine when you have to actual name of this amines just you replace r group by any alkyl group uh, i will write one example here we have the nitrogen here and here is the cs3 and here is the hydrogen lone pair remain as it is it means that we have the structure of alkyl amine which amine was there this is the methyl amine because hydrogen is replaced by alkyl groups likewise if you go on replacing all methyl groups by other structure like cth5 This is ethyl. If you use use propyl propyl group, you will get propyl amine. So ethyl amine, methyl amine, propyl amine, butyl amine, pentyl amine, hexyl amine. You can do it. So this is the primary amine. When you talk about the secondary amine, during that time, what we have to do? We have to replace two hydrogen by two alkyl group, and you will get secondary amine. So secondary amine. it is called as like this or you can say that secondary amine and structure of secondary amine is here r r and nitrogen and hydrogen is there it mean that two hydrogens of ammonia are replaced by two alkyl group this is first alkyl group and this is second alkyl group so you will get secondary amine here so this is called as secondary amine if you see the example of this just you write hydrogen nitrogen and here is the ch3 and here is another ch3 it means that this is the ch3 group this is the another ch3 group two similar kind of alkyl group we have added here and the things which is obtained over here is called as secondary amine again lone pair present on the nitrogen atom is remain as it is and everybody knows that nitrogen having a lone pair it is very very useful for 
detecting the basic nature of nitrogen why amines are basic in nature because nitrogen donates its lone pair of electron to the electron deficient species so uh, the species who donate pair of electron is called as base so all amines are generally basic in nature so this is the second secondary amine if you study the next type of amine which is called as tertiary amine if you look at the tertiary amine you will find that when all hydrogen of ammonia are replaced by three alkyl group may be same alkyl group may be different alkyl group that form compound is called as tertiary amine so this is called three degree amine or second tertiary amine so if you look at the structure of tertiary amine you can have this nitrogen here is the r group here is the another r group and here is the third r group or maybe same or maybe different again lone pair present on the nitrogen atom this is called as tertiary amine or three degree amine for example if you replace r group by alkyl group ch3 here is the n ch3 here is the n and lone pair present on heat so how many alkyl groups are attached here definitely three and they are similar so therefore it is called as tri alkyl amine tri alkyl amine and which alkyl we have taken is methyl amine therefore it is called as tri methyl amine if somebody asks me if you replace one ch3 group by another it means just CH3, N. Here is the C2H5, and CH3, N, C2H5, and CH3. Again, this is called as tertiary amine or three degree amine. And if you look at the nomenclature, we will see the part of nomenclature separately, but here we have two methyl and one ethyl so how can you rip, uh, say the name of this compound so ethyl dimethyl amine so ethyl dimethyl amine so here we can write n ethyl and two ch3 group are there therefore it is called as n ethyl diamine Yan methyl dimethyl amine. So dimethyl amine is the structure of tertiary amine. So here in this case, what we have studied today is the basic concept of ammonia amine. What are amines? Second one is classification of amine. Here we have primary amine. Secondary amine and tertiary amine. It is also called as first degree amine, second degree amine, and third degree amines. After that, we have the nomenclature. Uh, that part we'll discuss to the next lecture. Thank you.